Good evening, this is Tim from My Backyard Videos. And here we are getting ready for June 10th halibut opener. We're, here we are staying once again at the Quileut Oceanfront Resort. And as you see, we have various cabins, hotel accommodations, and full hookup RV sites. Uh, this weekend we're staying in one of the premier sites called the Twilight Cabin uh, from the Twilight series that they filmed out here in La Push and Forks and we'll take you in for a tour. So once you get in here, you see they did a little rustic decorations and you can see the wood they put up on the walls and they have different twilight memorabilia hanging around. Uh, it is a fully furnished cabin. They do have a wood stove they furnish and also they provide firewood every day for you. Uh, it does come with a full kitchenette. This is a two bedroom and a one full bath and I'll show you those real quick. So there's bedroom one, bedroom two comes fully equipped with a, you can only guess what it's going to be used for. And then a full bathroom. There's a twilight cabin so now we just have to prepare ourselves to go fishing in the morning. Can't see, can't wait to get out there and hopefully the weather supports. Today's adventure has us fishing for halibut, lingcod, and sea bass at La Push, Washington. I'm on Hal Thomas's Hughes craft, while Tim will be fishing with Steve Ray on the Hay Coho. We'll check in with them in a minute. It's a beautiful, calm morning, and the line to use the ramp is short. We'll be on the water and at our destination in no time. The Quileute Marina offers moorages at various increments. Look them up online if you plan to come out. I've seen guys slide their boats up on the dock. Yeah. So what we'll normally do is we'll have you guys get on and then I'll come back and get it. We're about to hit the channel, time to batten down the hatches. The phrase originating in the Navy, where it meant preparing for a storm by fastening down canvas over doorways and hatches with strips of wood called battens. That's Tim talking to Mark. Yeah, I heard Mark call okay. so We're going to chase Mark, and I think uh, Steve's going to chase us out to the southern end of the closure and uh, hopefully catch a few halibut and link on. Meanwhile, on the Hay Coho. June 10th, 2017, last hell of it, even if it opens again. <laughs> <laughs> David, what do you got to say, man? Here we go. Yep. Bro, hey, welcome look. aboard. Can't wait. You get your first hell of it, you rook. Yep, looking forward to it. We're going to make him real in a one by hand, Tim? Yeah, we'll see. <laughs> We're, we're in a hurry to get this done, so <laughs> we'll see how much punishment we want to put them through. If, yeah. if the fight's on, we might drop one by hand just to let them do it. Yeah, I think if, we if not, it's, it's the race is on and get the fish in the boat. We'll get back, hopefully knock out some sea bass too, do the trifecta. All right, sounds good. Take a look. Uh, we're past Cake Island over there. I don't know if you can see it. A little bit foggy out. Sea lion down there. Water's pretty darn good today so far. Hope it stays that way. We got Mr. Duda on the boat. I don't plan on catching the fish today. <laughs> well, you have to take over Brett's uh, job since you have the camera in your hand. And yeah. We're used to him doing so much work. Yeah. Oh, God. Tell me about it. Anyways, we'll check in with you in a little bit. We got about uh, a good hour and a half till we get up to the hell of the ground. So, uh, We'll check in with you later. Back on the Hughes craft. The weather and water conditions are near perfect today. Look at this man, this is just laying down right here. Beautiful. Oh, right now we're 
now I need to get the poles rigged and uh, the electric reels plugged in and get people out on the, on the fish deck fishing. Ready, Terry? Yep. We're almost on location, the area we call the closure. The closure is actually southwest of the actual bottom fishing closure off the coast of Washington along the Juan de Fuca Canyon. We'll be fishing for halibut between 500 and 600 feet today. To be able to fish efficiently, we need to use heavy jigs, one to two pounds each, and electric reels. The fleet is largely in position, including our friends Mark Ogle on the sea duty, as well as the boys on the Hay Coho. All right, here we are, about our fourth drift. Finally hooked up. Uh, Jeff's fighting a halibut on right now. Uh, David's just back there. I don't know what he's doing. Just <clears throat> trying to work on his tan, it looks like. <laughs> Maybe one day he can say, fish on, but. Hey, hold on, open that box. <laughs> <clears throat> oh, he got lucky and snagged one by the belly earlier, but. <laughs> Is there one in the box? Yeah, oh, okay. there's two in the box. There is two in the box. One of them's mine. If you look off to our poor rear quarter, there's Mark on the sea duty. Uh, it's been a slow day. They're, they're not pulling them in either. But we'll check back in as we get a little closer and we'll at least get them bringing it up over the side. On the Hughes craft. Oh, yeah. Down she goes. Oh. To fish on. There you go. Right there. Yep. yep. Right here, man. Well, it's a little bit of net tie. What is it? It's a halibut. You're just sitting there floating. Got a real big one. No, he's not. Chicken. I can feel it. Oh, my goodness. Oh, oh, oh no, you got him. Can you slide over here so I can help you pull up and then wedge down? Okay, so there he is. You see him? Oh, so yeah, I see, the reel. I see it. Can you switch to the reel? Okay, reel him in. Yep. Just keep reeling. And when you get him close, I want you to kind of back up. Okay, and all the tip up. There you go. And tip up and that's just bring, just bring, bring him this way. That's a nice house. Bring him this way. Keep coming. Keep coming. Keep coming. Got him. That was a nice power. Oh. Okay, oh back up, God. back up, back up now. Come on, look out, look out. Over, over. Setting. Over. Yep, over. go ahead. There you go. That's a good size halibut. That's a 30 pounder. Are we clear back there? Sure. Oh, yeah, we're clear. Oh. Put the bow oh. a little bit more. Yeah, nice fish for our first one. Side. Say what? Put the bow a little bit more nice. to starboard. <laughs> That was intense. <laughs> that's fun. And that's what it's all about. Oh man, this is awesome. What do you think? Oh yeah, this is a big one. <laughs> about a hundred feet. All right, Al. I see him. Okay. Steve, you gotta get you gotta get over here, Steve. Or um, I mean, Brent. Yeah, you gotta, get, gotta get out of the way. He's going around. You see him? Yeah. He's down our ways. You got a way to go. You can turn your feet down there. Huh? Oh, that's another nice oh, one. You, yeah, you've got a nice one too. That's okay. You're all right, did I just wait? Just don't do anything. Just wait, he'll get it. Here he comes. Shit. I'm gonna... Damn it. Got him, got him. I got him. Son of a gun. 
It hit the retrieve button and it stuck out of the uh, holder. All right, let me, uh, let me give it a little line here. Hold on. Okay. I'm, I'm line out just went. Your hook on his thing. Uh, you're, you're wrapped just around. stay right there. She, yeah, this is going to take care of you. Okay. Right. So just hang. Shoot. Give him some slack. Yep, hey, give me some slack. Yeah. Actually, just don't, don't, take this off, don't please. do anything. Okay, hang on. Well, hang on. I should say hang on that hook because it's going to flop into the net again. Yeah. Over on the hook. Look at him, Jeff. Yeah. Yeah. Jeff has a fish on. And it's a nice link cut. So here we are finding another fish. We just moved again and hooked up immediately as soon as we hit bottom. If you look over to our starboard, there's Lingless uh, along no. with Ro Rockstar's hooked up over there. Hopefully his hair is good. I can't tell right now. Took my thumb off. We got Sea Duty over there. Looks like they're fighting a fish too. They're fighting a couple of them. Now we just need to get David to get hooked up. All right, now, now we got a double going and this looks like it could be a good one. Uh, if you notice, David's hair is beautiful. What are you doing, man? So. Let me go. Yeah, I okay. can't fish with this pole. I'm not used to it. All right, I'll have to take over here in a minute as soon as, soon as my br brother gets his hair in. Oh, you cut off. All right, here we go. We're doubled up. There's Tim with his. Turn over here. Steve with his. Got the boys right across watching us. What you got over here, sir? A little, a little baby? We still at 130? Yeah. You got a ways to go. Yeah, it's not a bad. Yeah, let's not do that. Hey, hey Dave? Yeah. How's my hair? Well, I'm sorry, say that one more time. How's my hair? It's beautiful. Awesome, awesome. It looks great in this weather. Yeah, it's, so, it's a big bugger here. We're still about 400 feet down if you go to animation if you like. Ugh. All right. Well, Steve looks like he's about to crap in pants. Oh, oh can I say that on TV? <laughs> All right, we're checking back in. We're still fighting the same double, but we had to swap out uh, players on the rods. These could be a couple nicer fish. How you doing, Mr. George? Doing good. All right, we're getting really close over here. Me too. Yo, no, no, I'm, I'm talking about you guys. I'm just talking. Where are you at? 16. You under the bowl? Oh, wait a minute. I feel. Stop reeling. Oh, shit. He can't see What is that? A butt and a leaf? Yep, a butt and a yeah. leaf. And your line. Yeah, so. He's got to stop. Let's get that butt. Stop, stop reeling, Ooh. Jeff. You, you keep going. I got your line. Yeah, Jeff, you stop, Jeff. I stop. Oh, I got your line. Ty, you got to give me some. You got to let some line out. Let some line out. Yep. Don't, don't let it backlash, though. Got it? Yep. <laughs> Where'd they go? Dude, that was your line. That was your line. I can't. You got a double on that one. Right. I got to keep reeling. There's nothing I can do. Here they come again. Do I got to keep reeling? No. I don't know what's going on. Yeah, hold on. We're on the move again, getting ready to go for another drift. 
Uh, that one was a pretty good slam dunk. I wish I would have got it on camera. We ended up getting a ling, ling and a halibut, ling and a halibut, two double up on that one. So we're gonna try that drift one more time. Looks like we got a double on. Terry's on the other side. I think I got a small, maybe a ling cod on here, or a really small halibut. So we'll check in here in a minute when we get it closer to the boat. I think it's a ling. Yeah, it is. And a nice one. And he de-hooked himself there. Do us a little bit of a favor. It makes it a little easier. Yeah. He's not, not the that size. No, not at all. So we got to get some more ling cod jigs, I'm thinking. 17. He didn't like it. There it is. Nice halibut. There he is now. I'll take it. Nice little 20 pounder. Yeah, that hook. There we go. Thanks, <laughs> I love it when a plan comes together. How's it feel? Awesome. First one of the year, you said? For me. Uh, is it? Yeah. I haven't oh, caught the like that. That's why I was going to want to catch one halibut this year, and I thought we'd see was over, and they give us one more day. Easy. Easy. Hold on. Hold on. Ow. Okay. You know, I got these belts for like five bucks a piece. They were at uh, West Marine and they had them, nobody bought them. I guess they said they'd been sitting there for like five or six years and nobody ever wanted them. So I go, well, I don't know if I'll ever use them, but for five bucks, how can you go wrong? You can't. What happened? Lost just lost right off the hook. Damn. Son of a bitch. Same thing, right about 100 feet. So I want a the halibut and a ling. I want the second one, Terry. Bring me the halibut, and then we'll get the ling. Try it out. Holy smokes. Okay, here, I got one ling and one cod. Oh, oh, you got them both in the net. A ling, a ling and a cod. cod. A nice oh, monster ring. Huge ring. Holy hell. Oh, <laughs> Coming back down there to try. Hold, no, 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 just right there. I'm not going to hold on. We've never cut a halibut and a ling at the same time. That thing hit at the awesome. same time, too. I'm bringing a sweat on that thing up. That is a beautiful ring cod. I was, I was going to throw a Fingers. expletive in there, but I remembered we were recording. Ah, shoot. Nice hit. Nice play all the way in. Took me forever, but that's okay. <laughs> Fisher in the box. That's right. Fisher in the box. Or in this case, the bag. I let the, I let the mountains turn turn white. Oh no. Sixty, seventy feet, Hal. I'm here. I got it. There he is. It's a shark. Oh no, it's a ling. Nice ling. It's a nice ling. For a minute there, I thought it was a junk. Boy, we're getting some good sized lings today. What? Okay. Go ahead. Go ahead. Did he say he has Terry, one? Terry's got one hooked up. A little smaller than the last one, but uh, definitely in the bag. Over. 
Yes. Looks like the doomsday machine from that start. Nice one. <laughs> Look at that. I think we got Mr. Girthy here. That was a very nice leg. It is. Fat belly. Did you get that? He unhooked himself too. Awesome. Go back get some more. Oh my gosh. Let's see it. Let's see it. Hey, we see that thing. Oh yeah. Let me let me get a picture of this here. <laughs> so we need a. We were joined by some playful guests. Never have an issue getting the hell of it. It seems like we're always getting the butt tight real quick. Uh, Lynn Cod, we're 50-50. So we're, we're going to head back to the rock pile after out here, fish that C squared, and uh, see if we can finish off the rest of our Lynn Cod there. And then we're going to head in close since it, today's a beautiful day out here in the water and get some sea bass. We have skipped the rock pile and have rejoined the group at the sea bass hole. We're fishing in shallow water, about 40 feet. Nice ones. She's got a nice one. Bring it here, I'll get it. Grab it real That's a nice one. That's five now. Okay. Oh, we got a triple going here. Uh five, I think, of the boat. Yeah, when you see bass, what you need to do is keep looking in the depth finder and trying to find where they're at on the bottom. And then uh, reset the boat, put it right on top so you can catch them. So that's what we're doing right now is resetting to uh, reline up with where the fish are at. And then we'll drift right across the top of them and try to, try to hit them again. About 65. Lawrence is in the front. Uh, Maybe nine and ten. We're not sure. How many fish are under there? Uh -huh. <laughs> Could be two. Two. She got a double. All right. So that's nine and ten. Bring it to me. Keep coming. Big one too. We hit this one here. We got about fifteen or. I don't know, how many, 10, 11? Um, the fish quit biting, so we're gonna go in a little bit closer to shore where we hit them last year. Um, hopefully we'll find them. Here's my double guys, here you go. Okay, hey, that's 12 and 13 and 14. All right, we're back I'll in go. business. Sorry, I had to get two of one time back. Well, you're behind, man. That's why. I know. We're back in business. Here we go. Now we're there. This is awesome. Just get him in the boat. Hey, Hal. It's not the water, man. You can't get him. It's 
16, and here comes some mo. I only got a half empty or half full barrel here. Let's go. 17, 18. Here we go. Back. 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 Come on back. Keep your thumb on that spool, though. She's on your face. Okay, we're at 18. He's there. Oh, wow. Can we throw that guy back? 19. Sending off a text to my girlfriend saying five halibut, eight ling, and 35 sea bass heading in. We are good. I don't see that thing. Great day on the water, full limits all around. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you on our next adventure.